The thought of giving a credit card to an 18 year old can be a little scary, I have to say, but there are safe ways to establish credit for your teenager without them racking up debt. News for Jack's consumer investigator Lauren Verno sat down with a financial advisor, also the president of Jack's Federal Credit Union to get some answers. And Lauren, what did they say was the number one mistake that most parents make when it comes to their child's credit? Well, good morning, guys. So that number one mistake, not talking to them about it early because you want to have these conversations early on before it's time for them to buy their first home. There are a few different routes parents can take to make teens understand the importance of credit. Should you be printing out pictures of Lamborghinis and Range Rovers and saying, if you want this, you have to do this now. The president of Jack's Federal Credit Union, Mary Svoboda, says that's one option. I think it's helping them to focus on the future. You know, there's going to come a time when you're going to want to rent an apartment. Before we go into the best ways to build credit from scratch, financial advisor Adam Wolf has one piece of advice. The recommendation, first and foremost, don't buy things you can't afford. Which is easier said than done when getting a credit card for the first time. They don't want to get themselves caught up with a, a free, what they perceive to be free money, and then they don't pay it back, and now for the next two years, they have a poor credit score. So how do you avoid that while building credit at the same time? It's probably good to think about uh, 21 for a credit card. Now at 18, you could take that $500, put it in a savings account, and get just an installment loan. It's called a secured credit card. Think of a debit card where the money is already in the bank and you can't spend more than what's already in your account. But unlike a debit card, that secured credit card builds credit. So if you are 21, you want to take a credit card, should I go to my local store? Should I go to my credit union? Where is the best credit card to go as a first start? Well, I might be a little biased, so I'm going to say a, a credit union. You know, credit unions are not for profit. We try not to have products that have gotchas and hidden fees and things like that. But a lot of people go to a, a store. Um, maybe if you're a girl and you shop for makeup all the time, Ulta hits you, <laughs> hit you up and you end up Amazon's with a credit card. A big one. Amazon, right. Zabota says before you get a credit card, ask yourself, will I pay the balance off every month? If the answer is yes, then you don't have to worry about the interest rates as much. But if the answer is no, you do. And so those rates and fees can get out of control if you're not really being careful. And what you want to be is a wise consumer. Because building good credit is easy. Fixing bad credit is the hard part. Now, say you don't feel comfortable talking about credit with your kids, that's okay. Svoboda recommends taking them to your local credit union or community bank and having someone sit down with them and just explain it to them. 